A decades old building burns to the ground in Chattanooga yesterday. Now experts are concerned about the health impact it could have on the community. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. Today we're digging deeper into the effects of the asbestos particles in the air. Stephanie Satastasi joins us now and tells us what she's learned. Stephanie. Kim Kelvin, today we spoke to an attorney from Philadelphia who testifies in court cases as an asbestos expert. He tells us the particles in the air from the fire could have lasting effects on firefighters, the community, and the water we drink. Contractors evaluate the site where the old standard Coosa Thatcher Mills building used to stand. Tuesday, when it caught fire, fire officials told us the building contained asbestos. The plant sat here vacant for years until one company decided they wanted to turn the old mill into affordable housing apartments. We uh, uh, look for buildings that are in um, depressed areas that could benefit, that the area and the buildings could benefit from City property company president Tim Boyle plans to create more than 160 loft style apartments on the property. He says the buildings that were destroyed were not intended to be where people would live. When asked if he knew the building had asbestos inside, Boyle told us he's aware. Well, we've done studies and that's common for industrial buildings to have environmental issues. But how could the asbestos inside these walls affect the people living in this community after the extreme heat, smoke, and strong spray from powerful hoses disturbed it? Asbestos expert Dr. Arthur Frank weighs in. Asbestos particles can stay in the air literally for hours, but even if they settle out, if there's a wind or uh, cleanup activities, they get put back up in the air uh, and then can drift and uh, contaminate a neighborhood. Today, a spokesperson for the Chattanooga Hamilton County Air Pollution Control Bureau refused to answer our questions on camera. But she did say even though air pollution investigators responded to the fire scene, the air quality outside the plant is not being monitored. But Frank tells us it's not just the air we should be concerned about. It can get into the water, and if that water is used as somebody's drinking supply, it could get uh, into people's drinking water. Tuesday, the EPA announced the standard Coosa Thatcher Mill would be awarded a $200,000 loan for hazardous supplemental funding. Boyle tells us it was just a coincidence the award was announced on the same day that the building burned. He says he will use this money towards cleanup and still hopes to begin construction on the apartment complex by January 2017. Kim. Stephanie, thank you. A Chattanooga Fire Department spokesperson says the fire remains under investigation tonight. The standard Coosa Thatcher building was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2015.